Hi, today we're going to tackle the AR Aging Summary Report, and I want to show you how to pull that real quick. You go to your Reports tab in QuickBooks Online, and then you scroll down to this section that says Who Owes You, and click on the Accounts Receivable Aging Summary. So this shows you every invoice that's outstanding, and basically how late it is, or if it's current. Um, if an if a individual customer has not been paying you, you will see um, how late they are on that invoice. So this is what this report shows you. And then it's, it's categorized into these aging buckets. So the older it gets, it moves to the right um, to, towards this higher number, 91 and over, um, is what this report currently shows. What you want to do is you always want to run the AR aging report as of a certain date. I like to always run it at month end. So I'm going to run that. And then you can see the current bucket and then 1 through 30, so on and so forth. I also wanted to make sure I show you that you can change the dates, the days in the aging period, and you can also change the number of periods you want to look at. So if you have different terms for your invoices that you want to consider for your aging report, say you have net 60 or net 45 aging, um, terms for your customers. They don't have to pay you for 45 days or they don't have to pay you for 60 days. You can change this so that it's more customized for your business. And maybe we want to look at um, three periods instead of four. And then this automatically changes and puts things in the correct bucket. Now a lot of uh, consultants might have even shorter terms where maybe you want to look at more periods you will see that here. So it's very easy to change and totally customizable for your payment terms. I hope that's helpful. My name is Hannah Smolinski and my company is Brighten Up Financial. Definitely let me know if you have any other videos you'd like to see. Thanks.